Would Darwin believe in evolution today? Hmm, good question. Darwin actually predicted in some of his works that you would see a number of things if evolution were true. Uh, he said you would, in time, be able to explain the origin of life, going from non-living things to living things. So far, what we're seeing is the research on that. We're seeing living things are more and more and more complex than we ever expected, which means it's less and less and less likely that material, chemical things are turning into living beings. Uh, there's huge gaps there that still are unexplained. Darwin predicted if evolution were true that uh, you'd be able to explain more of that evolutionary steps with natural selection. He didn't even know about mutations at the time. Um, and so far, what we're seeing is natural selection, mutations, they're not enough. Uh, he predicted, if evolution were true, that transitional fossils would also be found more and more to show the evolutionary changes. So far, what we're seeing is uh, we tend to find the same fossils over and over and over again. Most of them modern things, some things that have gone extinct, uh, some fossils that are described as transitional fossils. But uh, so far from what I'm seeing with those, uh, there's a lot of question on, are they really transitional fossils? Are they really uh, evidence of the evolution? What we're seeing is um, things already complex, already there in the fossils, uh, no evidence of the transitions along the way. Uh, so given all those things, all his predictions that really uh, have not come about yet in 150 years, uh, more than 150 years since he started proposing these things. Um, he probably shouldn't be an evolutionist, but unfortunately, we've got the evidence, uh, just like I'm saying here, and there are so many evolutionists out there today, so many people, ultimately, and I struggle with this all the time, I get into the evidence with people. I love to share evidence with people, but I come away from the conversation. Oh, it's not about the evidence. Ultimately, uh, we argue back and forth with the evidence. And then I come away from the conversation. Oh, this is a spiritual issue, a spiritual battle. They don't want to believe in a creator God in many cases. Um, and I think that was true with some of the way Darwin described himself and, and wrote about, uh, his beliefs he didn't want god to be true ultimately he was trying to explain things naturally without a designer creator so unfortunately um he would probably be an evolutionist today but uh you never know what the lord could do the lord is the one who has to work he's in control um and uh i think there's good evidence for god in the bible from the sciences uh so take that for what it's worth